50 or 60 years ago, marriage was the only way to live a successful adult life. 95% of all people got married. If you weren't married, people thought you were mentally ill. It was deeply institutionalized in our laws and our values. It was the way that one was an adult. That's no longer the case. There are other ways you can have a successful adult life. You can be single, you can cohabit, you can move from partnership to partnership. All those are much more acceptable. You can be in a, an open gay and lesbian relationship, which really wasn't possible in the 1950s or 60s. So all of a sudden there are many different ways you can live your family life. Marriage has become deinstitutionalized, meaning it's no longer as fully supported by our laws and by our values. Sure, we support marriage, but we support other ways too. A lot of people talk about how not, Americans don't get married as much as they used to, and that's certainly true. But I think the question is, why do they get married so much? I mean, why does anybody get married anymore? Have they just not heard the news that you don't have to? Well, it seems like marriage is still very popular. About four out of five young adults will do it. But it has a different meaning than it used to have. Marriage used to be the first step into adulthood. You did it early. You did it in your early 20s. Then you got a job. Then you got an apartment. Then you had kids. Today, marriage is almost the last step into adulthood. It's something you don't do until you have everything else in good shape. And in particular, it's something you don't do until you and your partner have a good economic basis, until you think your partner and you can earn a good living, keep the family going economically, you tend not to marry. You just go have it. And so people wait a long time to marry. And when they do, it's often after they've had kids, after they've had a job for a while, after they've lived together for a long time, maybe even lived with a couple of people beforehand. But they still do marry. So what does marriage mean? Well, marriage used to be very practically important. You couldn't get a job if you weren't married. People thought you were weird. It no longer has that kind of practical significance. But I think it's symbolic value. It's, it's virtue as a symbol of leading the good life is more than it used to be. That is to say, practically speaking, marriage is less necessary. But symbolically, it's distinctive. It's more important. Precisely because not everybody does it, it's a symbol of saying, I have a good personal life, and I want to celebrate that by getting married. And so people do get married at the end of this long sequence of early adulthood, sometimes at age 30, sometimes older. And when they do, they want a big party to celebrate it. And the party is about them. I mean, it used to be the case that marriages were put on by two families who were bringing together a bride and a groom and merging their families. It was a very formal event. Um, but today, um, it's often done by the couple themselves. The husband and the wife might themselves pay for the marriage. Unheard of 50 or 60 years ago. Because the marriage is about them. It's not about their family so much. It's about them. It's about celebrating what they can do. It's about showing that they've made it. When you talk to cohabiting young adults in their 20s, some of them will say to you, I'm not going downtown for a wedding. Well, what does that mean? Going downtown means going to the justice of the peace in the mayor's office downtown in your city and getting a piece of paper and getting married in front of a justice of the peace with nobody else. It works perfectly fine. You're legally married. But people today say they're not going to go downtown for a wedding. They want a big party. They want a reception. Well, why is that? You'd think if marriage was not as important, they would be happy to just go down to the justice of the peace and save ten or $20,000. In fact, they want to spend that money. They want to have a big party to show themselves and others that they have made it. I think that's why same-sex marriage is such a big issue in the U.S. compared to some of the other countries. In Britain, there's a, a national domestic partnership law, but there's not a lot of agitation for same-sex marriage. Same in France. The reason is, in Britain and France, marriage doesn't seem to have this same symbolic value. People have long cohabiting relations that last for decades. And so gay and lesbian activists in Britain and France aren't so keen on marriage. They say, why are we bothering with marriage? In the US, however, marriage is still a very potent symbol of having a first class personal life. And gay and lesbian Americans want to, have, want to be able to have that symbol available to them too. If marriage weren't important in this symbolic way, I don't think we'd be having the tough debates that we're having about this issue, because I think it wouldn't be as important to everyone.
But what we've seen is that marriage still does have that potent symbolic value in the U.S. Now, will this stay like this? You know, it's always tempting to say that uh, whatever's happening today will continue for the next 20 years. And so to say, sure, marriage will continue to have this strong symbolic value and most people will marry. But it's not necessarily true. We're in the midst of a very, very sharp period of social change in, the, in family life in the U.S. Enormous changes in the last half century. And there's no real reason to think we're at the end point. It may be in 20 years, in 30 years, that well, people will look back in our age and say, imagine that, most people got married. Today, nobody gets married because it doesn't mean much. I'm not saying that will happen. I'm just saying we don't know. We don't know whether marriage will continue to have this new symbolic value and remain important or whether it will gradually fade as it, sometimes, as, as it has in Europe in many countries already. Right now, though, it's still with us and a lot more people get married than you might think.